Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Aries from the 17th to the 23rd of December 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I've put my email and my website details in the description box, so please send me an email. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, and I put in links to Amazon and eBay, so click on the links uh, to get to the sites to buy the decks. And please don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series, you will find that interesting. Um, and I'm also going to be putting out the 2019 uh, spreads uh, for the general reading, uh, the work readings, and the love readings um, in the playlists. And I will link these playlists at the end of the video, so I'll put, it, put them out next week um, so you can have a look at them. And so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with this general energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So you've got the gong, which shows uh, an exciting event. So you might be attending something very important uh, soon. And you've got the cup, which says you should expect valid criticism so if anybody's got something to say it's probably valid uh, just have a listen i mean you don't have to listen to it uh take it to heart but just have to listen to what they've got to say and there's a lot of hard work ahead for you so there's a lot of grind coming for you in the future so in the past you've got a temporary situation so something that was going on uh not for too long it's probably ended by now and you've got the cobweb you have protected from negative uh, forces beyond your control so you have divine protection going on as well so any kind of problem that you had was only temporary and you have divine protection going on for you so going to the future you've got the door which says opportunities are waiting for you and the bouquet which says compliments from an admirer so somebody thinks you're very cute and uh, you've got some um some opportunities coming your way um, soon so those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from this deck. I have shuffled it before. So you've got uh, the Knave of Cups over here, Knave of Chalices over here. So there might be some kind of um, social invitation coming from, for you uh, to some kind of social event. Um, it seems like there's this person bringing the cup and it's there to, it's, it's, it's very healing, this kind of invitation. Uh, and um, you can see that, uh, you know, they're walking forward towards the future over here. And, you know, it, it's some kind of invitation coming maybe to some kind of party. Uh, that you're going to go to. It might be um, some kind of work party. You've got a lot of money bags in the snow over here. So you should accept this uh, invitation because it might be opening the doors for something really good. So it might be that secret admirer coming and asking you out. Uh, and, uh, you know, they they might be somebody, uh, you know, who opens the door to a lot of money or wealth um, coming your way. So, you know, you've been through a difficult situation. You can see that arrow in the cup over there. And this person comes in over here, offers you, uh, you know, um, some kind of um, opportunity to get away from that uh, problems that you've been facing. So um, it's, an, it's, a, it's a healing invitation almost. So it's some invitation that you should accept, um, something that will take you out of, uh, you know, feeling depressed and alone and provide some kind of healing uh, from uh, any emotional upset that you've had. You've got the Knight of Swords over here, and this is crossed by the Two of Swords. So it looks like there's some kind of news coming in for you, uh, and it might be some kind of legal matter. There's some kind of legal decision that you are going to be faced with. Maybe a decision has been passed, and you are, it's a dispute that you may have had with somebody. So some kind of problem where you're at a stalemate, and it's some kind of legal problem as well, uh, and, it's, and you're waiting for this decision, and so this news will be coming in for you pretty quickly, uh, pretty soon. Uh, so some kind of uh, legal news or news about a legal situation or legal dispute coming in for you soon. So in the past uh, year, you know, you've, been tr you've had somebody that you have been uh, maybe uh, using as a shoulder to cry on, going out with uh, a lot, uh, a good friend. 
um, and they have been trying to get you out of uh, feeling you know depressed or low or any kind of problems that you've had. This is, is almost a soulmate connection. It's a very, very strong connection that you have with this person. And they've been bringing back some joy into your life or being very, very emotionally supportive. Especially when you've been going through problems, you've got this arrow in the tree over here. So this person has been very, very supportive during this particular period. So in the past uh, three months, you've got the eight of pentacles over here. You've been very focused on your work. Uh, you know, you might have been doing some studying as well during this work or learning some new skills, but really focused on trying to make money or acquire wealth, uh, accumulate money and, um, you know, learning on the job as you go as well. So what's in your mind? You've got the Knight of Pentacles. You are very focused on work. You can see this Knight focused on this coin and hugging this, hugging, hugging this coin close to his chest. You've got a lot of obstacles that you're trying to overcome and you know, you're dealing with a lot of problems as well, but you're trying to work your way out of it. So you're trying to uh, focus on your work, work very hard and move away from that problem or acquire wealth so that you can move away from your problems. And you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. You can see you've got the Hermit card over here, looking at the past a lot for answers, but spending a lot of time and focusing on work, because the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo, and it is a card about work and focusing and, and just concentrating on it. So maybe a bit obsessed uh, with your work situation. So going into the, uh, what's happening with you, uh, things are changing around for you. Uh, you know, your luck is turning, and you do feel that. Um, it seems like, you know, uh, um, you know, a lot of um, deception has been revealed, people's masks coming off, and, uh, you know, you are moving forward. So you have decided to, to turn things. You are making the decision to change your own fortune. You are seeing people for what they are, and you can see here again, lots of work. They're focusing on a lot of work and trying to move, this person is trying to move along his path. So you are changing, turning the wheel of fortune yourself. You are being very instrumental in making things happen for yourself. You're being very proactive, in other words. Now, you've got the King of Wands over here. So there is going to be somebody around you that is going to help you or guide you or give you that support that you need. They could be giving you a new job offer or some kind of offer coming in for you that will help you move along your path. This person is higher up in maybe whatever company you work in, uh, a very supportive person, a very dynamic person <coughs> as the King of Wands. So somebody that you can turn to for advice and support. And whatever offer he gives you is going to bring in a lot of abundance. So that's going to be coming in for you soon. You might be thinking of traveling or you want to end this job. You've got a lot of options. You want to do something that involves a lot more contact with a lot more people. Uh, so you're thinking of changing, changing this job. Maybe you are feeling a bit too isolated with this hermit card and you want to work with a lot more people, get to know, uh, you know, you want to take your job into a more international field or deal with a lot more people in your work situation. So going into the future, you've got the Seven of Swords, the Magician, and you've got the Knight of Cups. So it looks like, uh, you know, around you there's been a lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of gossip, people stabbing you in the back, people not, you know, almost stealing your ideas, uh, you know. So there's been a lot of deception that you've been dealing with uh, recently. Uh, you are trying now to manifest. So there you are being very, very busy. So in the future, you are going to be very, very busy working, concentrating, maybe studying as well with this magician card, but making things happen. So you're on a very positive cycle right now. It looks like whatever happened to you is now behind you and you are now bringing in, uh, you know, bringing in your dreams. You're making things happen for yourself and you're working to time, um, you know, uh, so you are under deadline. You are accumulating wealth. He's got a little money pouch over there. So you are, whatever you're doing, if you're doing extra studying, it's to bring in um, your dreams to make your future come true. You're going to be getting a lot of news as well. So, you, you, you know, you're learning on the job. You're uh, in charge and very, very busy. And you're going to leave behind that situation. You've got the King of Cups over here or the Knight of Cups moving away from any kind of old situation, turning your back on it. Uh, you know, still watching your back, but turning your back. And, and you've got a vision for the future now. So you're going to be moving away. So whatever you're doing, whatever job you're doing, whatever studying you're doing, it's there so that you can move away from all this deception and lies and problems that you went through. And it looks like you are turning your back to the past and moving forward. So you are healing from whatever happened. Um, and you're making decisions uh, so that you can bring your future uh, into fruition. And you are, uh, you know, you're growing from that situation. So whatever lessons you learned, uh, you are applying it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from this um, wolf pack, and that's for the oracle read. 
and it says uh, emotion. So it says you may find that you are in a situation. You may find you are in a situation almost over your head, and change must happen for you to survive. Be true to your feelings and know that this too will end. Learn from experience and seek counseling. So whatever happened, you uh, you know it's almost finished now. So don't let it get you down. Uh, you just take all the lessons. Um, it was necessary for you to learn these lessons in order for you to change and move on. And the second one is uh, defeated. You might feel financially or emotionally defeated at this time. Uh, eliminate waste and um, be more practical. So you need to actually get rid of people that are not long, no longer serving you with this card. Maybe you feel that you know you can't really remedy the situation and it is time for you to walk away from it right now. And um, the last card is obstacles. You will counter obstacles at this time. A solution is not to expect defeat, but to find answers. Rely on your inner strength to overcome the situation. You will become wiser from the situation. So whatever um, problems or obstacles or barriers that come your way, you just need to say this is a learning experience and you know take them as lessons and move on. You will. This is just temporary. Uh, you know it might even not be an, a, a real obstacle. It might be just that you're perceiving it as an obstacle. Now with this Knight of Cups over here, uh, it seems like you know you need uh, to walk away from it. You need to turn your back on it. You need to emotionally turn your back on the problem and walk away. And it seems like you are doing that. You are trying to bring your focus back onto your work bring it back onto yourself. There are people that are going to be there to help you, especially even with this um, king of um, wands. So somebody there to help you get over the situation. And, you know, whatever you feel emotionally, you are healing from it. You are making things happen with this, the wheel card. So you are bringing that abundance in yourself. So you're being very proactive. You're not letting anybody else do the job for you. And you will have plenty of options, um, plenty of choices uh, once you make that uh, final cut, once you cut it out of your life, you will have plenty of options coming in. So just waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in about some kind of dispute. Uh, you're waiting for some decision to come in. And then it seems like, you know, you, you finally make up your mind and you are going to be moving on. Uh, and uh, if there's a social invitation that comes along, uh, go for it. Go out, have some fun. It looks like there's some good news coming in over there. Knight of Cups usually, um, the Knave of Cups usually brings in good news and, you know, emotionally fulfilling news. And this might be some way that you can make other social contacts, increase your um, ability to collaborate with people, uh, you know, increase uh, social networking by going out on this, uh, this date or this inv invitation. And it will just open the doors for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to watch your uh, 2019 reads. I will put it in at the end of the videos. Uh, I'll put the playlist in at the end of the video so you can link to it and watch them. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.